Hello sports fans and welcome to this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm your host Anthony Juarez. With the warmer weather starting to creep its way in, Cavalier Sports are ready to hit the dirt. So today I am joined by softball head coach Kelly Latondres. Thank you for joining me today Coach Kelly. You're welcome. So you're in your fifth year and yes. all four years previous to this you've won the Region 6 title. What are your expectations coming into this year? Um, I think the girls will have a successful year again this year. Um, obviously, you know, I look for us to make a trip back to nationals. You know, it's always a goal. Um, we've kind of changed focus a little bit with the girls this year. We have a young team this year. We only have five sophomores returning um, and a lot of freshmen on the field. So we have to change our focus more of making sure that we're going to go out each game and each practice and make sure that we're performing at our level. Um, and if we do that, then the outcome of the season will take care of itself. You come into the season ranked seventh nationally, and you touched on you that you have five returning sophomores. What does their experience mean to your team coming into their second year under you? Having sophomore experience is always a big thing, um, especially the sophomores that we have. They contributed a lot last year. They got on the field a lot last year. Um, they play multiple positions. Each one can play different positions. Um, and they all will be on the field in one spot or another for us this spring. Um, and I think they do a good job of helping the freshmen through tough times, um, kind of keeping the nerves down, helping them prepare um, for practices, for trips, for different teams. Um, so they kind of help keep things on an even keel. Softball, like almost every other sport, is, a, is very team-based. In your first four years, you had, mul you had home runs in the top of the school's rankings and also at least one pitcher in the top 25 in ERA. Touch on that a little bit, how important a well-rounded team is. Well, in baseball, softball, they always, you know, they always say you want to be strong through the middle. Um, you know, but for us, you know, you're right. I, I am very team-based. You know, I don't focus on one girl or another. You know, I feel like all 13 of the girls have to be strong. Um, and when I recruit kids, I recruit athletes, um, and so my girls can kind of play a little bit of everything. Um, obviously, um, we like to score runs. We're very offensively focused, um, you know, because that's how you win ball games by scoring runs. Um, but I also like to keep the other team from doing so. So our focus is always to have good, strong pitching um, and a good, strong offense, and, and we'll have that again this year. A year ago, you lost a standout pitcher. Um, touch on that and if you have anybody to replace her this season. We did uh, lose Lacey Dixon to, she graduated and left and she's at um, UCM now. Um, but I do have a replacement for her, I feel, um, as we've been working over the fall and the winter. Um, one girl's kind of developing into that spot. Um, Kylie Mater is from Payola High School here in Kansas. She's just down the road from us. Um, and she's Probably she's got that same mentality as Lacey. She has great mound presence. Um, she throws the ball very, very hard. So I look for Kylie um, to kind of fill in where Lacey left off last year. And now on the hitting side, do you have any standouts hitting-wise that could take the place of anyone you've lost in recent years? Um, we did lose a lot of power hitting, um, and we are going to be different this year in that. I do one of my sophomores, um, Summer Kelly, um, is right here from the Kansas City area. She is probably going to be our four-hole four hitter this year. Um, she does have a lot of power in her bat, so she'll probably do that for us. We're going to be more of a short game team this year, which means we're going to have a lot of left-handed slappers. Um, and we're going to hit the ball a lot on the ground, you know, and run one base at a time as opposed to, you know, two or three bases at a time, which we're used to doing. But we're very, very fast, so we are going to be a strong threat on offense again this year, just in a different way. You open up on February 26th. Yep. Do you feel like your team's ready for that? I think so. I think so. I think, I think they're prepared. We're kind of getting to that point where we're past the indoor practice and, and we just need to go outside and see and play somebody and, and see what we need to work on. I mean, that's what the season is, just constantly looking and seeing what you're doing well, what you need to improve on, and, and preparing yourself for, the, for May. You touched on preparation and practice there. Um, how much does the weather play, play a role in your practicing and how do you adjust to the weather? Obviously, you know, on days like we've had a few um, this past week where it's nice out and our field's too wet, but we'll go out and find an open grass field somewhere where we can kind of play and just do what we can. Um, but here at Johnson County, we have a wonderful indoor facility. And so softball, we're lucky that we can actually fit a, almost an entire softball field in that indoor facility. So we're lucky enough that we can practice live and, and do pretty much game-like situations in our indoor facility. So we are very, very fortunate 
in that. But when we can go outside, we will. You know this school very well because you played here. Yes. What's it like coaching for a team that you played at formerly? Um, I like it. I really do like Johnson County. Um, it's a great place for student athletes to get their start. Um, I think I can help the girls, um, you know, through not only things as a student here, um, but how to compete as an athlete here and be successful. Um, when I played here, I made two trips to nationals as well. Um, so I think the knowledge I have from that, you know, I give to them and, and give them my experiences I had that, that will help them be successful here as well. One last question to wrap up with. Um, for someone who is not as familiar with your team and maybe just a new fan, what's one thing to look for in 2011 for your softball team? I think in 2011, um, you're going to see a change, obviously, like I said, in our offense. Um, I think you'll see us score just as many runs, but in different ways. So you're going to see a change in the way that we play. It's going to be a lot faster, and I think it's going to be a lot more exciting. Um, you're also going to see 13 very strong um, and bonded girls. And I think we may see a team do something that we've never seen Johnson County softball do before. Um, they've had kind of a rough go this year. They've lost some teammates to one thing or another, but they've really bonded from it. So I'm excited to see how they come together and develop over the season. Well, once again, thank you for Coach Kelly for joining us today. And it should be a very exciting softball season in 2011. Make sure you catch future sport Cavalier Sports Reports for more Cavalier action. I'm your host, Anthony Juarez. Thank you for joining us.